Next on Thunder in Paradise. Zombification is the lie. The living dead, the lowest form of voodoo ritual. Where's Rita? In good head. I want to see her now. <laughs> Did you bring the money? All of it. Let me test the powder.
Pelican with her band. Her name is Trelawney. Singer, dancer, spiritualist, and uh, barbecue extraordinaire. Okay, man, let's bring it home. Oh, oh I like it. It's jamming, man. Hey, thanks. Fix me up, hon. Got you covered. One brew special. Virgin. The way I like it. Oh, we be jamming now, man. I think she must be in the stars, huh? Oh, what's that? You're not catching a cold, are you, sweetie? Come here. Probably just an allergic reaction. And what are you allergic to? Homework. <laughs> God, there's only one bike like that in the world. You know that person? This is not someone you know. This is someone you experience. Sort of like trench warfare. I've never seen you turn your back on a beautiful woman. Woman? That lady was almost married to Spence. What? You're kidding. What happened? She never showed up for the way. Well, I'd know that pencil neck anywhere. Hello, Rita. What a surprise, albeit not right a very back. pleasant one. I gotta hand it to you. Took some guts coming here. What are you doing in paradise? Going out to sea to pull the flippers off a few dolphins? Where's your partner? He doesn't want to see you. Could be hazardous to his health. Damn. Spence, don't fall for her again. Spence. Oh, man. Well, as I live and breathe. That can be adjusted. Drink? What brings you back to paradise? My husband disappeared last week. Husband? Husband? Did you hear that, Spence? She's married? A legal union? Wedlock? Off the market? Goodbye, Rita. It's been grins. His boat exploded off the coast of St. Lucian. The island police found no evidence of foul play. Nor any evidence of his remains. Sorry. I'd like to hire you to inspect the wreckage. Inspect for what? My husband was a medical researcher. He went to St. Lucie and to collect samples of local plants and native medicines. He took $250,000 with him. There was a lockbox on board. I'm sure it survived the blast. If you recover it, I'll split what's inside with you. I'm sorry, Rita, but we don't work on spec, do we, Spence? Spence. Oh, God.
looking for a high concentration of magnesium alloy. Let's do it. Spitz. Yeah, all right, let's try it. Well, I hate to say I told you so, not to mention the fact that I almost became a human shish kebab. You'll live, Brew. It was just a nick from a spear. We weren't the only ones interested in this. Let's see what's inside. Hello. Exactly what kind of medical research did you say your husband was into? He wasn't a drug dealer, if that's what you mean. Well, let's just give it the old taste test. Wait! You have been to Santa Lucia, no? How'd you know? I could feel the dread in me bones as soon as you come back with this urn. I have family that live on this island. They live in constant fear of a man who makes such a powder. This powder raised the dead from their graves. What exactly do you mean? Zombification, little lass. The living dead. The lowest form of voodoo ritual. Uh, Trelawney, were you up again last night watching The Late Show? This is a real world worry. Zombies. And these zombies that I speak of, they do not walk around half in a day with pale faces. No man, they're strong and tough as street fighters. They have no fear and feel absolutely no pain. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Trelawney, I'm just not buying any of this. This powder goes through the skin and straight to the soul and then steals it away. Yeah, well, just in case, I'll uh, run a couple of tests. Where are you going? To clean up. Work's done. Time to play. Eight o'clock sound good? Perfect. Spence. I'm gonna ask you something. I'm gonna ask you as nice as I know how. Don't break his heart again. Please.
take. What are you doing here? Sightseeing. You know, checking out the competition. Hey, Spence, let's plug this place, man. Well, after Lonnie made her great jerk chicken, we'll stay up late, watch old combat reruns. What do you say? Kelly, I'm going to be okay. Hola. Sorry I'm late. Lost track of the time. Never could wear a watch. Well, maybe we should take up a collection and buy you one. I thought you were gonna go check on Jess. Is everything okay with her? I mean, we can do this another time. It's a great idea. How about we pencil you in when Haley's Comet returns? I'm going. I'm going. I don't think she likes me. Family. Yeah, well, I can understand that. She obviously cares a lot about you. Thinks I hurt you. <sighs> Next time you see Kelly, you tell her that I was scared. I was afraid you'd clip my wings. Understand? And tell her that a day hasn't passed that I haven't regretted that decision. Mm -hmm. not the way it happened and you know it. When we were racing bikes in Kathmandu, you ran into a truckload of chickens. I won that race fair and square. It's not chickens. It was ducks. And the driver was drunk as skunk meat. And he hit me from behind. And that, my friend, is <laughs> not a fair race. Well, whatever it was, you were covered in feathers and you looked like a giant Easter bunny running at me. You looked adorable. There is a growing body of evidence to suggest that so-called zombie poison does, in fact, exist. Throughout the Caribbean basin, there have been reports of voodoo priests who can produce a drug capable of shutting down the central nervous system, as well as stopping all cardiac and respiratory activity without causing death. Why'd you stop? Because you need to go to sleep. I think Kelly's right. You may be catching a cold. Keep reading. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now, where was I? Stopping all cardiac and respiratory activity without causing death. That's right. Uh, the effects of the drug can last up to 12 hours, during which time the coffin is dug up and the victim is released from entombment. Only his brain's so fried, he thinks he's still dead. And his nervous system is so shot, he's immune to pain. What, what the... Oh, God. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, sweet. Uncle Bruce fine. I just had a bad dream. I'm fine. I'm fine, sweet. Come on, let's get you up to bed, huh?
What are you doing out here? I think that spear that hit me was dipped in zombie poison. Run that by me again. Check it out. It's all right here in this book. Spence, this stuff is real, man. Something weird happened to me last night. I was going to run a chemical workup on the rip in my suit, but then I got a better idea. I'm going to go out there and find that spear. I'm going to do a spectral analysis on that. And you're coming with me. Brew, why don't you just sit down and take... Listen to me, man! I am not going nuts! I know this sounds crazy, but it is happening. It's all based in scientific fact. But if you could have seen what I saw last night, you wouldn't doubt me, man. I'm telling you, brother, we're up against the forces of darkness here. Oh. oh, man. What's gotten into you? Man, go! The snakes are poisonous, man! That's a lot of No, Spence, no! Listen to me, man, no! I may need this to formulate an antidote. I'm the sanest person you've ever known. Trust me, man. We're dealing with something way beyond our comprehension. Speak why I speak the truth. You both better come back to the hotel with me. The evil is just beginning. Nobody saw her leave? just vanished in the thin air? It wouldn't be the first time. Perhaps if you had heeded my advice, this could have been avoided. As it stands now, I think your friend is in very grave danger. I think she's long time gone by now. You must go to St. Lucien to retrieve her. The man you're looking for is named Francois Macoute. If you give back that which is his, he will give back that which is yours. We're on our way to St. Lucian. Wait, before you go, take this. I made it special for you. What is it? Trust Trelani. Francois Makut is a very evil man. This will protect you from his wickedness. Activate. Starting ROC for hyperspeed. Feeling a little bit edgy, okay? That's all. You're not seeing things again, are you? No, what makes you say that? Look, I don't know what's getting into you, but it's starting to scare the hell out of me. I think we'd both be a lot safer if you'd stay on board. No way, man. We are a team. I can't let you go out there and do all the dirty work by yourself. I'm going with you. Abnormal behavior, partner endangerment, seal command number six. You're married to it. Yeah, all right. Just take Thunder into deep water and wait. I'll call you when they come pick us up.
lose some time and see will clear my damn plan. Welcome to Saint Lucia, mon ami. First Rita. In good head. I want to see her. Now. This is what you want. Here it is. Let her go. What's going on? <laughs> you got what you want? Not entirely. It's not often I get to meet a man of your stature. I was hoping we could spend more time together. Run! There's no evil spirits at work here. I've let this thing get totally out of hand. Spence was right. It's time to get a grip. It's time to relax. Refocus my psychic energy. And chill. There. That's better. Everything's holding. 
Yeah, okay. Not going back out. Good. This is good. This is fine. Oh, God. This is not good. This is... This is not fine. This is... This is... Get the hell out of my head, you sick freak! <laughs> Hey, hey, 
I'm making a habit of keeping you waiting. How's Gordon? Doctor said he'll be fine. Good. Look, I asked you to come here because. Well. This is the engagement ring you gave me. Yeah, and you gave me back. Spence. This isn't a good time. I can't. Don't get all whack on me. It's not what you think. I was saving it for a rainy day, but it never rains in paradise. Take it out. <laughs> On your fingers for love. Around your neck, it's friendship. What about that rematch? To the finish this time? Exactly. Tiki statue. You're on. Go. Thank <laughs> you. 